Well, a heartwarming moment for East Haddam firefighters. A kitten that they helped rescue from a house fire just days ago has been nursed back to health, and they've helped him find a new home. NBC Connecticut's Jeremy Chen has more on the touching reunion. The reunion with this kitten brought it full circle for firefighters in East Haddam, saying this is all what it means to be on the job. Okay. I'm just so elated. I think we all are. You see everybody here to welcome you home. You look so much better. A touching reunion for East Haddam firefighters, seeing the month-old kitten they helped save. It was the only kitten out of four taken by firefighters to veterinarians that survived, rescued from a house fire Thursday. He was smelly of smoke, um, labored breathing, and we were just very concerned about his overall condition. Firefighters named the kitten Soot and were grateful for the veterinarians that cared for him. I attribute a lot of this guy's um, thriving here to the initial care that we were able to give him at Ludestep. Soot was then taken to Piper Olson Veterinary Hospital in Middletown where he was nursed back to health. So excited that he's doing much better than what he was when we dropped him off. When we left him here on Thursday, he was in quite the dire straits, um, but also served as a beacon of hope for our little community. Hope that's welcome to a profession that can have difficult moments. As first responders, we all know that it is just, the nature of our job is difficult, and when we have our wins, we celebrate our wins, and this little guy's a win. So it was released from the hospital and will be taken care of by an East Haddam firefighter who has a cat at home. The department says they like to see Soot be their station mascot. Oh. Firehouses are known to have Dalmatians in their houses, but we can definitely rewrite the chapter on that with this little guy. Firefighters say they are prepared and have bought supplies to ensure that Soot will be well taken care of. Reporting in Middletown, Jeremy Chen, NBC Connecticut News.